What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Acre Scuba Marina and today we're going to take a look at the Mares Quad Air. We did a review video of this in the past, but I'm actually going to show you how to set it up. Anytime you buy a new computer, you want to make sure that you go in, set the date, set the time and all that. You also want to make sure that you set up your dive mode as well. So on this model in particular, there's four buttons. We have an up and down button. We also have an enter and an escape button as well. They all do something a little bit different when you're at the surface. Underwater though, they're mirrored buttons. So whether you wear your computer on your left or your right wrist, these two buttons will mimic these two buttons when underwater. So if you're wearing it on your left or right, you can actually uh, manipulate the computer underwater. But getting started, we're just going to turn the computer on. And a lot of times when you get a brand new computer, a good suggestion for you, of course, is go ahead and change that battery out because you don't know how long the shop had it or how long it sat in a warehouse. So for me, personally, I go ahead and change a, a computer uh, battery every time I get a new computer. But I'm just going to hit, and you can hit any of the buttons. I'm just going to hit this one up here, the enter button. And of course, that's going to turn the screen on. You'll notice that there's three individual screens within this screen. They each tell us something a little bit different. You're also going to see that on the bottom, it'll say tank data in the middle say deco and then of course the top one's going to say depth as well so that kind of indicates what each one's going to read now we're going to be using the up and down buttons to scroll through we are going to use the enter button to select with and then to back out of the menu we'll be using the escape button so starting with the up button i'm just going to simply scroll through till i get to mode i'll hit the enter button and it's going to go into this mode here and i can of course select either air or nitrox or i can switch over to a bottom time mode as well we're just going to simply leave it in the air mode as well um, because you know maybe we're just diving air now we're going to jump over and let's go into the set mode now this is where we're actually going to set our dive and our time functions so simply from the set mode screen i'm just going to simply hit the enter button and it's going to ask me either to set dive or set time we're going to stay in the set dive first and we're going to scroll through that and see what all we can set up now the light mode is going to be the intensity of the backlight and of course how long it stays on as well. Um, it comes from the factory at a 6. I like to set it up to a 10 so to change that I'm going to simply just go to the enter button and I can change it up to whatever number I want. So once I go up to 10 of course I can hit enter again and then of course it's set. Using the up button as well I'm going to go into um, the P factor. I can change it if I want to. This is where you're actually changing algorithms. If you want a more conservative, a more liberal algorithm, you can actually change it there. Um, I can change the altitude if I need to, maybe if I'm diving at altitude. I can change from either salt water or fresh water. Since I dive a lot here in the lake, I'm gonna actually change this over to fresh water. So I'm gonna just simply hit um, the enter button. I'll change it over to fresh, and then I'll confirm it by simply hitting the enter button again. Moving on through, now we have the gas integration. Now, if you're using the, um, the air module that comes with this uh, for air integration, this is where you would actually go in to pair it. Uh, and I can simply go into the inner mode and it will actually pair with the uh, transmitter for this particular computer. Moving on, after air integration, of course, it's going to go into units. Now, this is currently set up in metric. If you want to set it into imperial, you just simply hit the enter button. And then, of course, you can change the units over to imperial very easily. Set, hit the enter button to confirm once again. And then I can go to my fast alarm. I can set it on. I can do my deep alarm if I want to. Uh, and I can set all alarms to be on as well. And then, of course, it will show the current temperature. It's currently 69 degrees. Now, that's not quite accurate. The temperature gauge on here works great for water. It doesn't so much work great for air, so don't too much worry about that as well. Moving on, it'll show the ascent rate. Um, it'll show a runaway ascent and a deco. You can set that on or off by simply going to the uh, hitting the enter button and then changing it from off until on. There isn't a race code here. What that is actually designed for, let's say that dive shops are using this as a rental mode. I can set this up for a, a, uh, a diver and then immediately upon him exiting the water, I can race that data and then give it to another diver as well. So this works great if you're using this as a rental mode. For you as a diver though, you're just probably never going to erase it unless you want to go to um, let someone use your computer who's not made a dive yet. You can actually erase it out as well. You'll notice that the screen does go off um, on this particular mode if you let it set for so long at the surface mode it will kind of go into a sleep mode now once you're into uh, surface interval mode it won't actually do that okay 
So we're just gonna simply scroll them back through here. Um, if you go too far, you notice I went too far there, it went into log, you can actually hit the down button and it'll actually back up as well. So going back into the set mode, we did the set dive, now we're gonna set time. So I simply hit the up button to go to time and I'm gonna hit the enter button as well. Now to set this, you're either gonna pick 12 or 24 hour time. Me personally, I like 24 hour time, so I'm gonna leave it there. Um, I can actually go in and I can change the day. So of course, uh, today is January 1st, so we're gonna leave that. Um, I can change the month. Of course, today is January 1st, so I'm gonna leave the month at January as well. And then of course I can change the year. This one's already preset up for 2019, so I'm gonna leave it. You simply change it just by hitting the up and down button. I can go to change time. Currently it is 4.23 p.m. here, Eastern Standard Time. So I can actually change this to 4.23. So scroll down, there's four. If you use the military time, we understand that's uh, 1600 hours. And then I can scroll down and set it up for 4.23 and then of course hit enter to confirm. And that's pretty much setting up time, it's very easy. So you're gonna use the up and down button to scroll, you'll use the enter button to enter, the escape button to escape. So it's very simple to do. So moving on, of course we got the log uh, feature here. This is where you can actually enter in and go through all your different logs. Now this is a brand new computer it's straight out of the box so it's only gonna have its standard factory log into it. We can back out of that. Of course, we have a plan mode as well. You just simply hit the enter button here. And of course, you can go in and you can plan it to whatever you want. If you're in surface interval mode, maybe you're in dive mode or whatnot, you can actually plan based off what dive you're at. We got the PC button here. And all I'm doing, once again, is just hitting up and down to scroll through. Um, the PC is gonna allow you to connect it to a computer or connect it to the Blue Link system. If you go into the info here, you simply click enter. This is gonna tell you your battery power. Uh, it'll also tell you the series serial number of the computer and all that other information as well. And of course we go back to the main screen. And guys, that's pretty much it for the Mares Quad Air. It's a very simple design. There are four buttons. Like I said, these two buttons are mirrored to these when you're underwater. But as far as the setup, it's very easy to do. You just scroll up or down to scroll through the individual screens. If you go too far, you're gonna hit the down button to back up. And then once you get to the screen that you want, you simply hit the enter button and then you can actually go in and change to whatever you want. So if I'm in the mode, I can go from air to nitro to bottom timer to whatever I want and then to back out you just simply hit the escape button as well and it'll back completely back out to the screen but guys I hope you found this video interesting if you got any questions please put it down in the comment section below we will be making a video on the smart air the genius and several other computers in the Mario's line and showing you how to set them up they're all relatively uh, easy to do but guys if you like this video simply smash that like button for me definitely share it as well if you got any questions put it down in the comment section below but as always make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter like us on Facebook pin us on Pinterest subscribe to us here on YouTube and as always guys we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.